too surprising there. So today, I'm going to start off just telling you a little bit of the background of PATC, who we are. Uh, I'm going to give you a history of the trail map history of PATC, and then I'm gonna hand things over to Chris, who's going to do a deep dive into the work of the GIS committee um, in producing these maps. And so um, hopefully everyone can see this. This kind of gives you the lay of the land. Um, our range for the trail map starts in Virginia, going from south to north um, in the Lexington Lynchburg region, uh, and then go up to Harper's Ferry, uh, the 40 miles of AT in Maryland, and all the way up to Harrisburg in Pennsylvania. And so um, PATC was actually founded in 1927 to build a section of the 2,190 mile Appalachian Trail. And today we manage a 240 mile section of the AT, the entire 250 mile Tuscarora Trail and 650 miles of other trails in the region. Um, so if you're counting, that's over 1,100 miles of trails in total. And um, so if you're a hiker and you come across a hundred foot staircase in the woods, you know that someone had to build it. Um, and these are a couple of examples of what PATC does. And um, I think here we're similar to OSM where there are many people doing a few steps at a time uh, and creating something big. So um, PATC has 8,000 members. And where do they come from? Washington, DC, Maryland, Virginia, West Virginia, and that kind of South Central part of Pennsylvania. Um, and so every year, over a thousand people volunteer around 10,000 hours. And there are also a half dozen paid staff members uh, who also hold down the fort. Um, and so here are some of the things that PATC does. Uh, let me take that in for a second. And then some of the um, less photogenic things that PATC volunteers are responsible for would be the pr trail protection and land management um, that's really integral to maintaining the trails because it's not just a path that people walk on, it's the land that they walk through as well. Um, and so Chris will be going more in depth on this topic later, um, but now I'm going to go into the compressed history of PATC's trail map program. All right, so the club, uh, as, as I was created in 1927 to build the trail, and because there was no trail there, the surveying and mapping was also taking place at the same time from the very beginning. Um, but this is very much an analog undertaking um, using a measuring wheel and a compass. And so here we see PATC founder Myron Avery with his legendary measuring wheel um, and friends, because that was the activity of the club at the time going out and walking where the trail would be, measuring it, surveying it. Um, it was all kind of one piece. And so now we're gonna skip forward to 1938. And so here's what the map of uh, the central region of Shenandoah looked like at that time. Um, and so uh, 1941, this was you know the era of the Civilian Conservation Corps building trails in the national parks. You can see maybe some minor changes in the trail map. Okay, and 1969, everyone is looking very cool, wearing sunglasses, uh, mountaineering. And so things kind of continued on in the same vein from the 1970s up through the early 2000s with you know pencil, paper, compass, measuring wheel. Um, and you know it's only recently that things have really started to change. So um, just gonna answer the question I asked at the beginning, why people like PATC maps. We have the data collected on the ground. We know the boundaries of the lands and land ownership. We also care for the trails. Um, and so with that, I'm gonna hand things over to Chris to tell you about the JS program. Yes, and I'm shamelessly here to recruit as well. So I don't know if this is conflict of interest. I, I think I'll be joining you guys because I'm having the, right, the same problems 
Um, it used to be uh, when I joined the club, but there was a photographer that went into a photographer's office, locked the door, and smoke would come out some chimney and there'll be a new map. And there was this a one man guy. Here. So now it's opened up quite a bit. And our last official photographer was probably involved with the club back in 2015. So 2023 is really coming to the point uh, where we're getting productive again. We've, uh, is it uh, easy just to hit the key or do I have to hit the mouse? Oh, there we go. So the last time, uh, the first map that we've been able to put out was the um, new Central District Shenandoah map, uh, the, the 2013, and now 10 years later, we have a new one out. Uh, what's uh, cool about these uh, new maps, the new projects we're doing is everything is uh, GIS beta based data now. And uh, they started collecting in 2010. There's a group called the GPS Rangers. I don't know what the teddy bear is about, but <laughs> that is uh, just their mascot. So they have a very precise uh, methodology that they go through. Uh, one of the guys uh, has stepped up and bought himself a Trimble DA2, and I've never even worked with it, but we're using that for uh, very accurate centerline data. Some of uh, some of our train when we're doing trail uh, moves, and then for a general collection of POIs, points of interest, our assets. Uh, we're using uh, the um, uh, garments. Um, so this is the idea: is the GPS rangers collect the data, and for a number of years, it was just sitting there and taking up disk space. And finally, we got around to. Uh, importing into uh, an actual GIS system, and we're using the Esri uh, online, and um, right now that's what we're doing. So we're bringing all those trails together. Together, we're bring, creating a work group with all these different layers, and we've categorized what's important to us. And as you were talking earlier, some of it's going to show up on our maps. Some of it's going to be back office enterprise. Uh, you know, we don't show blowdowns down on our on our maps, but uh, um, our trail maintainers will be interested where the latest slowdowns are. Um, and so what I've done similar, uh, what we were doing or currently doing is going out and collecting authoritative data sources for our base map or our foundation uh, data and uh, pulling to together right now in um, uh, Adobe Illustrator with a map publisher the way uh, the previous photographer did. And so I right now, uh, the data has all been updated and it's nice that I can reach out and grab the feature layer data that's uh, on uh, RGS online, pull it in and um, have it uh, with the right symbology on the map. Um, just to give you an idea out here. So this is things we're starting to do online is that these are all day hike maps that we have that are available that people to go out to and uh, download. Uh, as Aaron was saying, our maps go all the way up to Harrisburg, down to Charlottesville, and then you have the Appalachian Trail, which is the center red line out to the west, curving around the Tuscarora Trail, which was built, uh, well, started out in the 60s because they were worried about development west of D.C. moving out there. So there's this trail. It's really a very nice wilderness-type trail that we're in the process of trying to uh, protect. Uh, and this is a, what I've been a lot involved with a lot is uh, getting the, um, uh, the understanding our boundaries, uh, going back and finding uh, the pins, the surveying pins that have been out there for 30 years, 40 years, and recollecting them. Uh, here, the yellow, this is a great new easement. We finally, after 10 years, got five property owners to agree to give us a 50 foot. Uh, right away for the trail on top of the mountain. So these are the type of issues we are, the green, uh, we are dealing with. The, the, green the green areas are properties that actually have been bought years ago to protect the trail. We have easements and then uh, the yellow, uh, or the, I guess the orange at the top, right? That uh, we're having some uh, uh, boundary issues with our neighbors. So uh, you know, they're claiming people, are, hikers are walking on their property and we're claiming bikers or motor, uh, HDVs are on our property. So we're going out and making sure we understand where our, we're having enough time on this one here. 
we also have people that are dealing with evasive uh, plants issues. So they're using RGIS data and uh, dealing, uh, doing plans for going out and dealing with the um, evasive species. Uh, again, this is where we have our trail and we're trying to use the triple data and getting some act, uh, not the, not boundary data from the, uh, the, the, what the, the county's put on there, but actually trying to figure out where our trail might be on and off of uh, the, uh, uh, the easement that we have there. Uh, we work with the Shenandoah National Park people, uh, sit down, uh, make sure we know where the latest public access and we have the rapid on wildlife area management area. Another one, we had a bunch of trails on the old map that, you know, people can't hike on anymore. They, there's no way to drive up there, but they were still on the map. So we were going through and pulling those out. Uh, this one was right before I was going to print this. There was a trail that went from this uh, dirt road. Uh, there's a trail we had on that road, this dirt road. And there's a big issue going on with the local land owners who say, we don't want people coming on our trails anymore. So we had to do a creek quick update. And so that's important for us. We manage the trails in the area. So uh, working with our neighbors, uh, our property owners, and making sure people know uh, where the trails are active and being supported. And so, yeah, I'm looking for application de developers, uh, data wranglers, and photographers, but I guess I can work through uh, uh, you guys now. <laughs> and, you know, um, Thomas Johnson uh, really was uh, the president of our club and uh, is, uh, did a, uh, the history of the Pol 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 yeah, Potomac Appalachian Trail Club. It's a great read and uh, GPS ranger photos. And actually this is the GPS rangers on the right. They go out in the summer to work with some of the Western uh, public lands and collect data and give it to those uh, state parks, national forests. So that's everything. Is there any questions?